Good day, everyone. How are you today? This is Teacher Desiree, your teacher in Carpentry 9. Welcome to the world of industrial arts carpentry. This video lessons covered from quarter 3 from week 1 to 2. Are you now ready to learn a new learning adventure? So get ready with your mojo, pen, paper, and yourself. At the end of this video lessons, you are expected to identify the tools and materials used in carpentry. Let's start! Learning outcome number one. At the end of this lesson, you are expected to identify materials and tools applicable to a specific construction job. the primary work perform is cutting, shaping, and installation of building materials. During the construction of buildings, ships, timber bridges, and concrete form works. Carpenters traditionally work with a natural wood and did rougher work such as framing, but today, many other materials are also used and sometimes the finer the trades of the cabinet making and furniture building are considered as a carpentry. Before we start of the lesson, what do you think are the materials used to build this house? Yes, all of you are correct. Now, let's move to definition of terms. A bill is a statement of payment due to goods and services. Material is a staff fund which a thing is made. A tool is a simple implement as a hammer, saw, and speed chisel, etc. used in work. Quantity is a number, amount, and size. Damage is an injury, destructions, or harm to a person or a thing. Work it is something made or accomplished. Requisition is an act of requiring something to be furnished. A written request for something authorized but not made available automatically. Job is a piece of work of a definite extent or a character for a set of feet. Types and uses of constructions, materials, and tools. Let's find out. Materials Lumber, nails, screw, GI wire, cement, sun, gravel, water, steel reinforcement are used in construction and carpentry. Sun. It is a fine, gritty substance found in the 
designed for making straight cuts across the grain in wood. The teeth are sharpened at an angle and be veiled to a point, allowing them to cut cleanly without splintering. Teeth are in a zigzag pattern. Cross, cut, sew. Plumb bob is used for vertical alignment. It is used to transfer points on the ground. Plumb bob. Tri square. Tri square is used to test the squareness of a stock. Uses to test surface to check adhesion surfaces to make lines across the face edge of a stock. Tri square. Level bar. Level bar is tool used in checking vertical and horizontal position. Level bar. Then we have the other tools, the bench vise. Bench vises in a particular attach directly to a work bench to hold the work piece during operations such as sewing, planning, and drilling. Bench vise. Then we have an electric drill. A drill is a tool primarily used for making round holes or driving fasteners. It is fitted with a bit, a modern drill era. Over the last century, the electric drill has been created in a variety of types and multiple sizes for an assortment of specific uses. Electric drill. Then we have agar bits. Agar drill bits are bits to use drill holes into wood. They are commonly used for boring holes into book heads and general timber applications. These drill bits comes with a spiral drill bit head which when drilling is designed to pull the bit into the wood so you don't have to apply excessive pressure. Agar bits. screwdriver. A screwdriver is a tool or manual powered for screwing and unscrewing screws. A typical screw driver has handle and shop ending in a teeth that user puts into the screw head before turning the handle. The shop is usually made of top steel to resist binding or twisting. Screw driver. Then we have a sledge hammer. This sledge hammer is a tool with a large, flat, open metal he head attached to a long handle. The long handle combined with a heavy head allows the sledge hammer to gather momentum during a swing and apply a large force compared to hammers designed to drive nails. Slade hammer. following tools and materials used in carpentry? Let's begin! This is a fine, gritty, 
substance found in the shore and desert. What do you call these tools? Or materials? Correct! This is called sand. How about this picture? What do you call these tools? Very good. Plumb bulb. Next, a powdered substance which makes with water act as binder of aggregates. What do you call these materials? Absolutely correct. Next, it is used to test the squareness of a stack. What do you call these tools? Yes, it is the tri square. Yes, a C clump or a G clump. How about these tools? This is called a Yes, this is a electric drill. How about this one? Yes, it is a crowbar. Next, we have Good luck and always have